All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So we are, I almost typed in vitamin Y. We are using the best email deck on vitamin Y. That, that is debatable. That is really is debatable. But it's my favorite because I pretty much invented it. It is super nice, you know. Yep. This is the deck set I'm famous for, if, I'm, if you can call me famous. Anyway, when it comes to making the deck in real life, I have like 99% of the deck. No, like literally, I think I might have to borrow bills from my friend because right now I do not have the money to be picking up like fifteen dollar bills. But you know, I borrow the bills from him, and yeah, the deck is pretty much finished. So that is awesome. You know, just just the thought. So see, see, this is one of those. This is this is one of the reasons and examples of the reason why we run Butterspy because literally. Before running Butterfly, what? I would grab, what, two Armageddon Knights. Someone on Armageddon Knights and grab the other Armageddon Knights set, right? But with Butterfly being a warrior, I can literally send Summon Butterfly, XC into level chain, and I can get two sends for the price of one in one turn instead instead of waiting two turns. So that's one of the reasons why uh, Butterfly is in here. It also, you know, it's a warrior. You know, because we could, we could run uh, Kage. We really could. But uh, the thing with Kage... I'm gonna send you a bell. The thing with Kage is that it's not a warrior. And they're pretty much, in the retrospect, they're pretty much the exact same card, except this card is a warrior, therefore I could search it with Rhoda. You know, with Rhoda being out triple, you know, it just totally helps my consistency. And you guys know I love consistency. I love consistency. Consistency is my jam. Alright, so we got two out of three. I'm again, it's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I got two out of the three, which is great, you know. I'm going to take the duel just slow. I'm going to set one just so I can see if I can pull the MST out of them. Because, you know, people generally like to blind space when there's only one. Trade in. All right. So this should reveal what deck we are facing. Some type of skill drain deck. Awesome. I hate skill drain. I think it is a fucking stupid degenerate card. You know, there there is nothing good. Nothing good has came from that card. Nothing. I'm going to tell you that right now. Nothing good has come from skill drain. Skill drain... It's not. It's it's not a strategistic card. It, it's it's literally the animosity of the card. You're you're you only play skill drain when you know it's gonna fuck your opponent over. You build decks around skill drain. Like that's that's the crazy shit. You build decks around skill drain. <laughs> so I know he's got skill drain. Triple drain, triple, and he's already down to you know twenty eight cards in his deck. I know he's got a skill drain. Yeah. Yep. So is this Dark Matter dot deck? Yeah, this is Dark Matter dot deck actually. I keep on thinking of skill drain because I see this, but then I just remember, oh right, they just run that as level eight for him. Yep. So Dark Matter dot deck. I don't want to play fucking Dark Matter. No one wants to play fucking Dark Matter. Dark Matter can go fuck itself. That card should never exist. And you know, and it's clearly obvious that it shouldn't exist because OCG banned the dragon release. So OCG, uh, so TCG, um, you know, Dark Matter's coming out. You, you, you know, you could do a preemptive hit. There is nothing wrong with banning the dragon rollers. You ban the dragon rollers and no one even gives two fucks about Dark Matter. You know, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Dark Matter, send what? Eclipse Wyverns, you know, I hope you have some baby Chaos Dragons up in there because I just don't see it. All right, once again, the Butter Spy coming through with the clutch-ass plays. But no, I definitely don't want to uh, duel against Dark Matter. I, I can't stand Dark Matter at all. You just, it's another one of them degenerate decks that I hate. You're not even trying to duel me. You're literally trying to just OTK me as quick as possible. Like, like how about we, you know, take it slow, you know? Sit down for some coffee, you know? Let's talk. Let's, let's duel. Not fucking... <clears throat> And they're fucking fucking trying to run up and steal my purse. No, not my purse. Ah, my purse! Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> I am super crazy today. Spring break. Spring break, I think. <sighs> I like breaks. I like breaks from school because it's nice college, but I get bored. I, you know, I don't realize how boring my life is unless, you know, I have a break from things, you know. When I have a break from college, I'm like, wow, my life is boring. When I have a break from YouTube, I'm like, wow, my life is so boring. You know? So I'm glad that I didn't take a break also along with, you know, from YouTube along with Spring Break. Oh, all right. Ah, so, 
You're gonna get that first turn infinity. I used to think that dueling cyber dragons was actually an interesting duel. You know? You know, I used to respect Zane. But then he got the fucking infinity, a card that makes you wanna slap, you know, slap his mama so fucking good. And then the duel just wasn't fun anymore. You know? Of course, fucking machine dupe is so fucking busted. That card is busted. Like, you devoted a whole fucking deck to it. <clears throat> so, literally, if he goes to infinity, then I will go ahead and quit. Because there's literally... <clears throat> God, I'm losing my voice. There's no point in me dueling. I, yeah. What is this? It's fucking Vitamin Y. Daniel gets to duel against shit, and that's fucking busted, and he hates. You know? This game is slowly falling apart. I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't see Yu-Gi-Oh lasting more than 10 years. I think that Yu-Gi-Oh is literally going to fall apart in the next 10 years. I really do feel like that. So go ahead, you know, slap infinity on it, and then I will be totally done. Yep. <sighs> Sad thing is, I, I gotta use fucking Cyber Dragon Infinity on uh, webcam duels, which we'll be getting this upcoming week. I'll try another one. We're already six minutes in and we can't get a decent duel. So what am I going to get sacked with next? I'm opening up fairly well, too. You know, Super Vice is all sitting here opening up fairly well. My opening plays have not been terrible. And yet, even this hand's not terrible. Even because Dark Graffer is here to save the day. I was actually thinking about cutting Dark Graffer down to two, but I was like, you know what? Look at all these darks. Like... I think every is everything in this deck dark. I don't. Yeah, every everything in this deck is dark. Everything. So why would I cut down Dark Greffer when he can always pitch anybody? You know, like when I was considering Dark Greffer in other decks and the the quality, the quantity in other decks. Yeah, I can understand you know cutting Dark Greffer to a little bit because there's not as many darks. But you know, in this deck, oh yeah. Go ahead and just keep them. No. Yeah. Power levels in Yu-Gi-Oh are extreme. All right, so fluffles. Hmm. So I think I should have sent Tinker. It's okay though, as long as he doesn't have too much back row. Cause the problem with fluffles is that they have a like, and if Tiger can't handle the situation, then they have a really difficult time. Yeah, they have like a super difficult time. So if I literally go for like a Beals, you know, like really, what is he gonna do? I guess I'll lamb it up, I guess. He is going off. So that was his normal summon, right? Uh, then he special summon the sheep, return the dog. Okay, continue. Okay. So I guess he's gonna go for sheep, huh? Oh, fright for a sheep. Oh shit, no, he's just gonna OTK me. Alright. See? Seriously, can we sit down and have some coffee? He's gonna summon fucking uh wolf. And he's gonna go attack, 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 and then that's gonna be game. Cause it can attack for every single what material that was used. Like wow. So I take three hundred and then six thousand. Seriously, can we sit down, have some coffee? You know? Sip it up a little bit? Like, damn. Where were you, Limit Reverse? I needed you fucking... I got fucking all my life points shaved off. Where were you fucking a couple seconds ago? Shit. 
So if he had one more material, he literally could have just FTK'd me. He could have FTK'd my ass. Like, damn. Like, please. I would love to just duel. Sit down. Sip some coffee. Shit. Yes. It is. It is a normal monster. You've never seen a Gemini before? <laughs> you know, normal. I mean, four. Fat. Um, and uh, it's a little nervous just in case shit hits the fan because I'm literally in phase. No effect. I'm in effect. Bell effect. Some terror. Terror effect. So I need to get Tinker in the graveyard ASAP. Like I said, I should I should have said Tinker. I should have said Tinker instead of you, Bell. I did that out of habit because they kept on opening up with Limit Reverse. I wish I would open up with Limit Reverse, then I could have fucking blocked myself from fucking all that damage. I got my fucking face shaved off. Like, damn. I thought he was going to go for Sheep. No, he wanted to get all that damage in. He was just like, Razzle Frazzle. And I'm like, ah, somebody help me! Oh, you got rid of Fusion Conscription? That's a good ass fucking card. Okay. That combo so fucking well. Nug is like uh, super good. So I'm assuming Tiger. See, that's the reason why I didn't win says Limit Reverse, because I know he's going to pop my Limit Reverse. But I guess I was safe than sorry. Yeah, I should have gone to my Limit Reverse. He's going to go for Tiger. Probably into Tiger. Yep. Yep, I don't know. Oh, it's in the graveyard. I forgot I opened up with it. You think that you look creepy? I gotta be safe. We can go for another tiger in that game, but he doesn't really have the resources right now. So I guess you're gonna go ahead and do that again. on what I should do. Depends on what I draw. MST. See, the thing is, if he goes for another tiger, I'm dead. I'm dead. So, I'm thinking about using my swing and going for another tear. Yeah, you know what? That would be best. God, I wish I would have dropped Tinker instead. I would have dropped Tinker instead, went for him. Beals, this duel would have been over. But I guess, you know, I don't want to talk any shit about sitting down and sipping some coffee and actually getting a duel in, so. Ultimate Nightmare Attack. Effect. Plus 200, career effect, you count. You should.
So that's a diamond's tea. Yeah, yeah, I should. Fuck it. If he wants to waste more materials on fucking another tiger, that's fine. But you're dead. Fuck. You're dead. Fuck. I'm in you back. Fuck. Okay, my ultimate ammo. Go ahead. Hmm. I'm okay right now. Seriously. Did I even summon her again right in this duel? No, I didn't. There we go. I'm good night. Alright. Go ahead and drop Tinker. And now, I'll actually get into this duel. Problem is, he's set two background. I don't know. Ow. Oh, I should have set the call to haunted. Ouch. That hurt. I tried to blow my muffin cap back blue. Shit. That's fine. Awesome. <laughs> um, Can I end this door? No, I can't. Next card. Do I want a dark graffer? No. <laughs> I can get a dark graffer whenever I feel like it. Perfect. Go ahead. So, it also says I got Beals on the field. Well, unless he hits me with another magical cylinder, I really don't see him beating me in this duel. Because I don't think Fluffles can get over Beals. Tiger is their, is their out card. If they can't destroy it, then and they can't get over it, you know, the snuggles are real. You got two? Let me say, like, are you going to use another fright for a fusion to get ahead and go into that big guy? Then, oh my god, that's game. But if that's the way you end the duel, then hey, more power to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose to no fusion scum like you. Oh damn. Shots fired now. <laughs> the only fusion deck I hate is Shadows. I don't mind Fluffles. They're interesting. Wish they had better fusion monsters though. I seriously want to see him get out of this one. Wait, don't they have a, uh, a one that burns you? I think they do. Which one burns you? You. Tomahawk. Is that one? Yeah, all you need to do is do a Tomahawk. Maybe he already has the Tomahawk. 
Oh. I can end this duel. Yeah, I won. Let's have the fake valor. Awesome. I like winning. Thank you for the top deck, Super Rice. I knew, I know he's gonna try to trauma hawk my ass. So we'll go ahead and send the last bunch by since I don't need you anymore. Because I'm literally about to do one of the plays that you can do right now. Don't want to start monk. Nope. I wonder if he has like a battle fader or something. If he does, then I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna get all my shit wiped by my own tear. There we go. Whew! You're gonna trauma hawk me, aren't you? <laughs> trauma hawk. Next turn. Oh, he just left. All right. I was gonna ask him if he's gonna tomahawk my eyes next turn. Just <laughs> game. <laughs> ah. All right. So there we go. Like I said, if I would have sent Tinker to begin with, that duel would have went a lot more smoothly. But eh. or drew that limit reverse first turn. If I would have drawn that six card, I would have not lost all them fucking life points. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Lemon Wine. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Labrador Evo. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.